Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Ugly Dog Lures. Well, it's autumn. Gee whiz, hasn't it been a fast summer? So I, I suspect that we better paint an autumn colored bait today. So we're going to be painting a 2.5 square bill and we're going to be using uh, Anita's uh, Golden Yellow, Apple Barrel Jack-O-Lantern, and Apple Barrel Marsh Green. Create us a fall bait. Uh, so you know what? Ain't nothing like the present. Let's just jump in there and get her done. So the first color we're gonna run with is our orange, jack o' lantern orange, you know, whatever you want to call it, folks. It's orange to me. Well, let's get it mixed up and get it sprayed on. And it's just going on the belly of this bait. So we're gonna have an orange belly on this bait gonna be kind of a it's not a real real bright orange but it's not a real real dull orange either it's kind of a mid-grade orange on this bait so well there's our orange ain't it pretty cool just pretty cool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this old bait here and we're gonna put that over there out of the damn way we're going to flip this bait up just like that. We're going to run up this belly right here just like that and right over here like that. Let's do the old drip test. Look at there. See how that's running? That's just going to spray just fine. So are y'all getting excited for the Halloween challenge yet? I am. I think it's going to be filmed in front of a live audience. And they all cheering for me. Tell me he's not cheating. We moved the mic. So there we go, folks, an orange belly. Let's heat set that right quick. Well, let's mix our paint up good here. Well, so, anybody else excited for fall? I am. I'm ready for it to cool down and be snow up to my belly. Yeah, that won't happen in New Mexico, folks. So here in about two weeks, folks, me and my wife will be celebrating our 26th wedding anniversary. 26 years. That's pretty much a milestone in today's world. The old drip test, see it there? That's just, man, perfection. But, yep, I don't know what we're going to do. She hadn't told me yet. So, whether we do anything or not, I don't know. But I'm sure we'll probably go out to dinner and I'm going to tell them what else we're going to do. So folks, on this lure, we're just going to get this belly yellow, right above the belly, on the sides of the fish, I'm sorry, and the head will be uh, yellow. And then we'll come across the top with the next colors and we'll stripe it. Well, let's pour our pretty yellow paint up there, and let's just start cleaning it up on there. You can just lay it over the whole bait. It ain't gonna hurt nothing because you're gonna come back over it with your with your green anyway. So just lay it up in there just like that right there. You see that folks how easy that is? That's a pretty yellow. My wife went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and got got me some new paints. So she even let me go with her. I was shocked. I'm very excited for fall, folks. Uh, I don't like it because the fishing slows down, but you just got to slow down and fish it slower. I mean, that's just common sense. So. And our next color that we're going to put on this bait is uh, the marsh green. It's an apple barrel. 
I use this paint a lot. It's a pretty nice paint, pretty color. And it's not going to take a whole lot of it on this bait. I'm about out of it. I need to add that to my list. I actually looked for some yesterday and couldn't find it in Hobby Lobby, so I may have to order some online. But it is what it is, so let's uh, move on. So today we're using a Iwata HPCS on this bait. Uh, sometimes I use the Neo and sometimes I use the HPCS. Most of the time the Neo is what I prime my baits with. Because I don't want to put the wear and tear on my expensive gun. So I buy the cheaper Iwatas and use them for priming. The old drip test, there we go. So this is where it's going to get interesting, folks. We got it all dried up good there. Let's get us a little paint put up in here. We don't need much. We got that much to probably do everything we're going to do here. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay this ladies comb up here and I just want some very subtle stripes on this bait. I don't want anything very yeah, let's turn our pressure way down. Too far. Get it down about 10, 12 pounds. So I just want subtle. Very subtle. In there. Can y'all see how subtle I put those stripes on that bait? Not much strap at all. I don't want them very to be really bright, so just so. And I don't want them bleeding way, way down into here. That's exactly what I was after right there. So let's see if we can repeat that. Maybe. I'm almost back to the can. And we did. Look at that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our pressure back up. We're running about 18 pounds now. All right. Let's make it green. Just fade that green right down into that side and down that head just a little bit there. Now we're working on our fall bait. There, it looks pretty decent. Lay that comb right up here. Just like that, and then I'm just parking it just here. And that's it. Now we're going to paint the nose. Right up to that eye. Right down there. There's our fall perch, folks. So there's just a little old fall perch. Uh, 
I fish it, you know. It's quick paint. Anybody can do it. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do something. That's a pull the tape off the bill. We'll make some epoxy up and we'll get it epoxy, folks. So this is a 2.5 square bill. So we're going to need 1.5 of each of the epoxy and then one of the hardener. So let's get it mixed up. Let's get our glitter out here and get it ready. So this is the new glitter she bought yesterday. It's called Butter Cup. I used to have a horse named Buttercup. You remember that? About 500 years ago. So folks, before we put the epoxy on and before I get my butt chewed, let's put an ugly dog sticker on it. Water slide. Because I just seen it in her eyes and it was coming. You hey the old man, you forgot again. Yeah, I'll probably do. Never said I didn't forget, folks. That'll give that a chance to really set good. I think I like that lure a lot. Uh, you know, I tend to go black a lot, but I caught a lot of fish with black lures in my life. So, but I kind of like that a lot. Pretty cool lure. Oh hell. It came off in there and I can't find it, folks. Found it. <laughs> well this is kind of one of our fall patterns we're working on. Uh, I'm gonna have several different ones. I'm going to have a, a simple lure video that I guarantee you, you can catch fish with. Uh, and it's coming in the next week or 10 days. Uh, it takes about 5 minutes to do this video. So it's coming. It's just a simple lure that has been bopping through my crazy messed up mind. So, it's coming. Well, there's the ugly dog on there. It's on the bottom, the sticker. There's water slide. <laughs> it's a sticker to me, folks. So. so, while that's sitting there and drying a minute, let's go ahead and uh, mix this epoxy up. 1.5, 1.5. And we'll put buttercup in it. 1.5, 1.5, folks. Awesome. Booyah. Cat back on. Let's put buttercup in. There's the buttercup right there. We'll shine that glitter up, folks. Sometimes I use glitter, sometimes I don't use glitter. You know, I'm just one of those weird people. Depends on the bait. Well, there's something else I'd like to say folks. Uh, I sent some lures to a young man this week uh, named Frankie. Frankie when you get those lures I hope you enjoy them young man and I hope you get lots of use out of them. He's my never don't know the kid but He's a fan of my channel, and I hope you enjoy him, and I uh, hope everything works out for y'all. I'm sure it will. So let's throw some pocket. Oh, Lord have mercy. Buttercup looks pretty good. That is very pretty glitter. It's a nice one to have in our arsenal, honey. I'm very proud of you for finding that yesterday. So proud of you, I'll let you cook my supper tonight. Thank you.
would y'all be interested in a video on how to make salmon jerky? If you would, I'll surely make some, dehydrate it for you, eat it for you, you know the whole nine yards. Uh, y'all be interested in seeing that, I could bring my dehydrator right out here and we'll do it right out here in the shop for a video. Anybody that knows me will tell you that I'm a well of a cook. Probably one of the... Well, I ain't gonna brag on myself, but I'm pretty damn good. He's an amazing, amazing cook. Is that better? Yes. Okay. I was waiting for you to say something. You don't have to brag. Your food brags for you. Yeah, that's true. I love to cook and I cook a lot. That's why my wife married me. That and my stunning good looks 55 years ago. Well, there we go, folks. Looky there. When you were two. Yeah. Are you aging me more? Yes. I'm only 53, and you just aged me all the way to 57. See, folks, I told you she's wanting me insurance money. So there we go, folks. That's a ugly dog fall lure. What do y'all think about that? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a 2.5 square bill. I'd fish it in a heartbeat. My friend Caitlin sitting over there and she said, yeah, I'd fish it too. As soon as your fat old butt takes me back to the lake fishing. So, but we're going to try to do that before it gets too cold, we'll go up to the lake and take an assortment of lures and show Well folks, we're back. We got this lure all dried up and off the rack and hooked up. Uh, this is one of my fall colors that I, I like to do. And uh, it's all finished up. It's a uh, yellow, orange, and uh, two different colors of green. And I put gold eyes on this one. It's a 2.5 square bill, so there it is, all finished up and looking pretty. Uh, folks, remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell down there in the corner. And uh, y'all have a blessed week, and I'll catch you later.